Hello and welcome all. Today we are going to see what is an inverter. An inverter is a circuit that is converting a DC voltage to an AC voltage. If we have a 12 volt DC voltage, our household items are mainly working on AC voltage. So this DC voltage has to be converted to an AC voltage. A DC voltage means it is constant. 12 volt, 12 volt means it is a constant 12 volt. But, but AC voltage means it is fluctuating voltage has positive and negative cycles in AC so a circuit that converting a DC to an AC is called an inverter so we will check a circuit which is using an unstable multi vibrator and which is generating an inverting AC voltage this is the circuit we are used for generating an AC voltage from a DC battery. This inverter circuit is working on the unstable multi vibrator mode. By using that mode, it is converting the DC voltage. This is the DC voltage, 12 volt DC voltage, converting into 230 volt AC voltage. Here, the output is not a sine wave but a square wave. So, we cannot use for every electronic circuits because of it is a square wave and it contain many harmonics higher frequency signals are contained in it so we cannot use for every electronic circuit but it is a simple circuit using a stable multi vibrator how the circuit is working as we know that this is this is the battery voltage plus side of the battery voltage and when we apply this plus volt there is two resistors are there this resistor is connected to the base of a transistor. Different transistors have different property. So, because of that, any one of the transistor is on first. Even if you apply the same voltage, one transistor is on first. If you assume that this transistor is on first. So, when this transistor is on first, this point is at ground. So, this point is also will be at ground. When this point is at ground, this is a MOSFET. This MOSFET will be turned off. And this point is at ground. And this point is at plus 12 volt. This is plus 12 volt. So the capacitor began to charge through this path, through this path, through this resistor to the ground. And this MOSFET will be off. During the same time, this transistor is not on. And this side has is the plus 12 volt is directly coming there is no ground so this MOSFET will be turned on when this MOSFET will be turned on the current will flow from this this is the plus side of the battery this side through this path through this inductor through the MOSFET to the ground this is the ground so this will be the paths current will flow through this path when this MOSFET is on and when this transistor is on and as time progresses this capacitor is getting more charge because this side is plus and this side is ground when this point reaches a voltage more than this voltage now this transistor turn on when this transistor turn on this point will become ground this is short circuited and this point will become ground when this point will become ground this mosfet will turn off and when this mosfet will turn off now this transistor will turn off when this transistor will turn off now this point become higher volt the 12 volt will be available at this point and this mosfet will turn on when this mosfet will turn on the current will flow from plus side through this inductor through through this MOSFET to the ground that means the current will flow through this during that time this point is at ground so the capacitor began to discharge so this point become plus now the the plus side as this capacitor point as the voltage at this point increases the transistor turn on when this transistor turn on 
this will turn off and the cycle repeats so we will get at the output a wave a square wave like this that means one turns one mosfet is turned on and another mosfet is turned on the frequency at which the transistor is turned on is depending upon this value and this value of the resistor now the frequency can be calculated using the equation frequency is equal to rc means time constant into around 72 percentage of rc is the frequency that means rc means time constant this is this and this this is the resistor and this is the this is a one microfarad capacitor by you calculating this value and multiplying with 72 percentage or 0.72 rc into 0.72 we will get the frequency the one drawback of this circuit is that as the voltage this is a battery and as we, we take the power the battery voltage decreases when the battery voltage decreases the resistor the capacitor combination take more time for charging so the frequency decreases that means it may, will take more time so the frequency decreases when this voltage decreases the output, output voltage also decreases so we have to ensure that the battery voltage remains constant when we whenever we uses this this is one drawback of this circuit so we have to take a feedback o only then we can maintain a constant 230 voltage this is one drawback another drawback is that when, when the mosfet is turned off there will be spikes the spikes can ca damage this mosfet in order to avoid that we can put a snubber network snubber network means a combination of resistor and capacitor capacitor using that we can avoid big spikes if there is no load is connected to the output and due to the continuous switching that at the transformer big spikes can occur at the output that can damage our components connected at the output so in order to avoid that we have to put a high value resistor so that it can provide a loading effect so we have to ensure that the battery voltage is constant through or whenever we using this circuit as this is a square wave output we cannot use for every applications so it has a limitation so but it is a simple circuit using a stable multi vibrator mode